Hello guys, how are you? This is Risa from Risa's house again. Well, thank you for clicking on this video to see what I'm up to. And today I am going to be making a floral arrangement for my entryway. I'm doing, what I'm doing is the um, original colors, like the traditional colors, the oranges and the yellows and the greens for my entryway. That's where I'm putting the traditional colors. The rest of the house, nay. And um, I'm doing it in a kind of a um, rustic feel. Not fully, but a hint of rustic. I want to, you know, embrace the rustic part of me and the glam part of me and combine them marry them <laughs> so today i am going to be using a galvanized vase and i got this from the dollar tree and i got some moss green moss that i'll be hopefully i'll be using i got some florals a whole bunch of florals that i'll be using also and i got a little styrofoam ball i got my trusty glue gun i got my scissors some glue stick and i got hold on i got this pumpkin this little small pumpkin that i also picked up and i am hoping that i could place it in the arrangement somehow not so sure because it's ceramic and it's heavy it's not like foam where i could hot glue it on and it's stabilized and it's so this is heavy so it may tilt i'm not sure i'm gonna try but it may not happen. I also have um, my, oops, I'm sorry. I also have my um, pearl wrap here. And, and here you go. I've got this one here. What do you call this again? Hmm, you know what it is. Burlap with lace going around it. Okay, and this I'm going to use to put around the vase to, you know, enhance it a little bit. Because, you know, things need enhancement, of course. So, let us get cracking here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to attach the burlap to the vase here. And I'm going to use... Um, Hot glue. I'm just going to hot glue it on. Which is your safest bet, of course. And there you go. And I'll just make a cut here. And we'll attach it. this little edge off here just to have a clean look and you know I'm scared of this hot gun this hot glue gun I say it all the time I am scared of getting burned I've gotten so many burn I'm like oh god I can't take no more burn from a glue gun so, okay, so here we are with the burlap. And what I think I want to do now is put some lace, not all the way around, but cut it and do a strip around the top of this just to have it looking a little bit more 
I think, <laughs> I think that's the word I'm looking for. Shake! So I'm going to overlap this. My battery just... Uh, my phone told me my battery is low. And so... If you know what that means. <laughs> but I'm attaching this here now. And... Uh, trying to get it around. Okay, so we need to fill up our glue stick here. Yeah. getting burnt today. I can guarantee you that. Okay, there we are. It's a little bumpy here, but uh, oops. Okay. Alright, so there we are. So, the next thing we do, we have our styrofoam ball. And I'm just going to attack, I'm just going to put some glue gun, some glue to this and attach it to the vase. I can't talk today. I don't know. I can't talk. I just can't talk. Okay. Because why I'm doing this is with the flower, the floral, um, I am just going to stick them into, into the, um, the styrofoam, I'm not going to cut them and then do the little edges, no. Because this is a long vase, so I just use them whole. Okay, that's attached. And then, so what I'll start doing is, I'm attaching them just like how they are, because I want the fullness of it. So, so this is the first one, and this is a da these are daisies. So, it's not only daisies I'm using, but this one is daisy. And we're just going to put it down in the styrofoam ball. Come on, baby. You could do this. You could pierce this boy. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Okay. And I'm going to use the next one. Same color on the opposite side. And I'm going to pierce it down yeah okay and I have same daisy lighter shade and I'm gonna do the same thing pierce it in and I also have some daffodils. I love daffodils. So I saw the daffodils and I was like, I'm just going to incorporate some daffodils into this little setting here. And so I got it here. And you just got to pierce it down into, yeah, there you go. So I want the daffodils to be visible right here. Up a little more. I'm going to continue putting the cat's tail into into the arrangement and i want this one as i said to stick up i've taken it up to stick up because i want it to be oops i want it to be the show the showcase of this vase i love cat's tail so i'm just putting them right in the center here so they have a spot there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue the moss right around here I'm 
the mouth of the vase so I could put the pumpkin you guys so I am going to glue the moss around it as I said before We're going to get some more hair. And this is coming along nicely. Okay. All right. So, I would like to put this pumpkin in here. So I'm going to try and do that. So, so I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the bottom of the pumpkin. And then I am going to let it perch right here. Yeah. And I think that's not bad. With a little moss kind of hanging down a little bit here. This is this is what it looks like with the pumpkin. Okay, so you get a little bit more moss around the edges. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the finished piece. And I will show you on my console table in another video when I show my entryway. I'm going to be doing a video. Uh, where I'm showing my entryway and you will see this there because this is where that's where it's going so Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. It's kind of hard to see the full thing, but it's actually very, very nice. Very fall, of course. Despite the daffodils being in there, and of course daffodils, the spring flowers. But it just gives it something, a different element to the arrangement. So, thank you ladies. This is it. And of course, you'll see some pictures. All right. Take care. I'll see you in another video. And you go make something beautiful. Love you all. Bye.
here is the finished product. Here my daughter upstairs making noise. But this is the finished product. And this is what it looks like.